Hello, my name is Second, and we are playing Feebity Skyblock. And first thing we gotta do today, we gotta make another platform. Um, I'm gonna need to work with some lava. And right now, the safest place to do that on the starter island is nowhere. So we're gonna make a safe place for it. And we're gonna use these factory blocks from Chisel. Um, these. They do take iron to make, but you, you get a good amount of them. So, uh, they're, you know, pretty good deal. And we're gonna use the ones they come with. Let's see what else there is. I don't even think I've seen these in the new version. Um, we're gonna want some of these, though. And we're gonna want some of these. Now, let's see. Guess what we're talking about here. Bye bye campfire. This will be fine. They're very satisfying to walk on, I'll tell you that right now. Actually, we're gonna go out one more. Because instead of doing a little walkway out, we'll just do a single instance with the pattern I want to have. And like many chisel blocks, blocks from chisel, they have connected textures, so pretty groovy. We'll just make a square here, cool. And in the middle, we're gonna use a bunch of these, which I think looks like a perfectly reasonable industrial. Uh, block to use for floor when you're building out in the middle of the ocean. Now we're going to do a bunch more of these. That's a pretty good start. Now we're going to put the crafting table down here somewhere, probably. Um, probably ought to have it towards where the middle is going to be. Yeah, we can always make more crafting tables. i got to smelt up the grout, but what I want to do right now is, uh, Make some lava buckets. This is uh, trivially easy with our uh, our fire seed. Probably get rid of this. And is this gonna be enough to light up? Oh, <laughs> gotta be careful with these boots. Not to light up back here. I'm still gonna have that. Now it looks like. I forgot to fill it. Oh, okay. So, we need to, uh, to make some tempered glass jars to run on high heat, as well as the ones that we've made to run on the low heat and the no heat. So we're going to take three like this, and we're going to put them over here. And hopefully... Lava will count as high heat. And I wanted to test campfires, too. To see if those are, are high or low heat. I'd imagine that they're low heat. So we shall find out. And will tell us anything? That's low temperature. Hmm. Now we do have just a couple of diamond chunks here, and a couple of emerald chunks. Now maybe with these in our hand, it'll show us it's high temperature. I wonder how we're going to get it. Alright, I looked through J.I., and it looks like we can make magma blocks with uh, our drippers. Compressed cobblestone, which are just you know, nine cobblestone crafted together, and some lava in the drippers. And it looks like the particle effects are, uh, are the same, <laughs> regardless of what liquid you put in there. Uh, that's fine. Oh, that was fast. 
cool. Let's see if these count as, as high key. Oh, that's not too high. Alright. Low temperature. <laughs> so what we may need to make is this blue magma. Which we can make with magma blocks, soul sand, and a bucket of lava. How are we going to get soul sand? Well, we can do that at no temperature with liquid mob souls and sand. We've been collecting the mob souls at a steady rate from uh, killing all of the uh, all of the slimes. And it won't be too much of a trouble to get the liquid. Doesn't look like it takes very long. How much are we getting a, a go here? A well, bucket of peat. It's not bad. Half a bucket of peace, of course, is what I meant to say. Now we're just going to throw it all in our tank. Whoops. <laughs> there we go. It looks like these things will fill up a bucket full before it will deposit one. So. Alright, let's see what we can do here. I'm going to three of these. Uh... Oh, a hundred! No, a thousand. But why does it want us to do this? Doesn't seem like it wants us to do this, and I don't know why. Can we... No. Oh. Dear, dear. Out some of the torches here. That's not good. To watch out for that. Uh, how are we gonna get it in there? That's, that's the thing I don't know. All right, let's try this. Each one of these has uh, half a bucket worth. So now this one has a full bucket worth. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. There we go. I don't know why you can't use buckets. <laughs> but it is what it is. You figured it out. That's the important thing. Now, for all I know, this has been a... There's updates to the pack that I just can't see because I'm still not on the internet. Um, so there's soul sand, magma, and I think it said we needed lava buckets. So we'll get a little bit of fire essence. I got two more dirt essences going over there because we didn't use so much of it. Um, whoops. There we go, 12 fire essence. For 12, for 3 lava buckets. I said 12 for some reason. And then finally... Three blue magma blocks. Excellent. Now this should finally give us the uh, the high heat level. At least I hope it does. Yup. You can see it's a uh, different color inside the temper jar now. The first thing we're gonna make <laughs> is uh, is a diamond. Doesn't look like it's gonna take very long. We're gonna make an emerald. Hey. -hey. Nice. Now we're going to use this emerald immediately, along with eight cast iron, to make ourselves a fortune upgrade for the sluice. 
And I don't know if there's a limit to how many of these you can put in, but it increases the drop chance of everything by 3%. At the cost of more energy, power, um, I don't, uh, I don't really know how that works. You should click them in here. Click them in here. I'm not really sure. Maybe we have to, uh, stop feeding it for a minute. What if we take this out? Can we put that in? I have no idea how you use these things. Put it in the hopper? Yeah. I don't know, folks. I'm shift clicking. Let's see. What if we try right on top? Shift click right on top? Nothing? Alright. I am not sure that these work. This is the only side we haven't tried. Um. Try it on this side. There's nothing in it. No? What if it didn't have any water in it? Let's learn about that. We're gonna we're just gonna try everything we can here, so see if these things uh see if these things work. You know, to really doubt it. Alright, so it's got no water in it, nothing. I don't think it's do anything. Well, listen there. Now, earlier in the series, we made some things from the pipe mod that didn't work out. Um, because we need the next, we need the next level swoop to actually use those, I think. Um, but we are going to make some item pipes, and we're going to need, what, three redstone total for that. Perfect. <laughs> we can make one. Um, so we'll want two of these, two droppers, right? And then we're going to need six iron. So we certainly have six iron. What I want to do is, uh, first off, automate that smelter. Uh, where do we put that pipe wrench? There it is. The first thing I want to be able to do is input items into here at scale. And I don't want to use a hopper. We're just going to set these to extract from the chest and put them in here. And what's nice about this is that it's still relatively easy to access smeltery control. So let's say we wanted to smelt us some stuff. Now all we have to do is uh, throw whatever we want to smelt in the chest. And it'll go right in here and start melting up. And we've increase the size of the smelter significantly so it can smell 27 items at once. Now the next thing I want to do is have automatic extraction. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that, but we can try. What I think we're going to need, and I, I think, I don't actually know if this is going to work, um, I think we need a timer. And for that we're going to need a whole bunch of these surface plates, but I'm going to go smelt up some smooth stone. I'll be the first to admit that I'm a redstone noob, and this is a redstone mod. Um, what's this do? How hard is this to make? Not hard. We might do this instead. Now, we've already got this set up. 
So it will uh, it will take blocks or whatever we're making in the uh, in the casting table out of the table in the basin automatically. The pipes actually connect to these, which is really cool. Now we just need a little bit of gold to make a clock. Let's make let's make two clocks. I've been feeling uh, pretty naked without a clock. I don't mind telling you. I always have a clock in slot eight. Just, uh, just what I have. Now I think to make the base, we just need three stone and three gold nuggets, and then the rest we need uh, three redstone torches. That's easy, and some redstone. And send out timed redstone. Oh, that's close. Nice. So let's see if I can just put it right on top of the. Uh... That's not what I want. Let's see. How would I place it? Not, not quite. Like so? Yeah! So I guess the way it works is with the orange arrow pointed towards the block that you want to send a redstone signal to. These faucets you can automate with redstone signals in case that, that isn't clear. It's just going to keep sending a redstone signal on a, on a little, little timer. To, uh, to this faucet, and the ingots will just pour out. So we throw our metal chunks in, and then we come back later and get our ingots out without having to stand here and do a lot of clicking. And we're doing this with the, uh, with the casting table and the ingot cast, because this, unless you're real disciplined with exactly how much you're putting in, this will pour out part of a casting basin and the stuff will just sit there because it can't do anything. Item pipe can't pull it out because it's the liquid and uh, the whole thing grinds to a halt. Now what we're going to do here, I, I hope, is, uh, is do a little sleuth automation. Um, what we want is the obvious accumulator right there. And we're going to put some pipes on it. And we're going to... I don't actually know that it's... Hey! I don't know. I don't know that it's actually necessary to set these pipes to extract when you're using the accumulator. Uh, but we're going to do it. Okay, we finally got three diamonds. And we should be able to upgrade our sleuth, the diamond sleuth, pop it right here, and have it, yeah, it's filling up with water. Oh, good. Now what we have is uh, we've got water being pumped automatically into the sleuth. The sleuth is going to do its thing. The items it pops out are going to get sucked up by the absorption hopper going into the iron chest, and we've got item pipes uh, coming from this chest set to extract, and what should happen is, uh, oh, they do appear in the world before the thing picks them up. Sweet. Now, one more thing I want to do here while we're at it, because actually I only need to one iron. I always do that. Every time I do that. We're going to upgrade that iron chest to gold. And you do that just the same way we upgraded the regular chest to an iron. And see right now we got a double chest worth of space. And now we have significantly more. 
So, what we have here is uh, finally the infrastructure to make diamonds. We've got hands-free resource generation, and at least in terms of uh, ore processing and doubling, hands-free on that too. So, some real automation at last. Now, uh, what are we going to do next episode? Good question. Um, we're going to try to uh, get into the Tier 2 crop and see if we can start gathering some nether resources. So that'll be next time. Thank you for watching this time. We'll see you then.